I'm Anna and you're watching Food Love. Today I've got a little twist on a classic comfort food. It's curry chicken pot pie. Now I know this is the middle of the summer and most people think of pot pie as a fall or a winter dish, but I love curry chicken and I love pot pie and I just couldn't resist. So if you want to see how I make this not so classic, classic favorite, please keep watching. So I start with two large split chicken breasts with the skin on and the bone in. Now I'm going to generously season these with kosher salt and black pepper. Now I'm keeping the skin on because I want to collect some of the fat that renders during baking and the skin keeps the chicken nice and moist. So I'm going to bake these at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. So I ran into these beautiful baby potatoes that are so colorful. Some of them are deep purple, some are yellow, and some are red. I just thought they would add so much prettiness to my pot pie filling, so I'm going to cut these in half and then quarter them. I have two carrots that I have peeled and then just split in half and then chopped. I did the same with two stalks of celery. Now if you notice, I'm chopping my vegetables all to the same size. That way everything cooks in the same amount of time and evenly. I have half of a large onion that I'm also chopping. and then one garlic clove that I've chopped really small. So once the chicken comes out of the oven, I'm going to remove the skin and the bone. Now you can see here that this chicken is very hot. Please allow your chicken to cool down at least to room temperature before attempting to handle it with your bare hands. So I've got two forks here that I'm using to basically just cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. You can see that the chicken is very moist, very tender, so it's very easy to cut them into pieces with the forks. If you see that some of your chicken has a little pink, don't worry, your chicken's gonna continue to cook once on the stove and then in the oven. So you want your chicken pieces to look like this. So I have a pot that I've heated some extra virgin olive oil into, and then I've thrown in two tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna heat that up. And then all of the veggies that I've cut, I'm gonna throw them into the pot with the olive oil and the butter mixture. I'm gonna stir that up. Then I'm gonna add some flavor. So I have some dried thyme, a heap of kosher salt, and some black pepper. I'm just gonna give that a nice stir. Then I'm going to add a nice heaping tablespoon of curry powder and I love curry powder. Now this curry powder I made myself at home. Whatever curry powder mixture you like to use, please use it. Now this is the fat that rendered from the chicken that we baked off earlier. I've added that for some extra flavor and then some flour of course to thicken the pot pie filling and I'm just making sure that all of the vegetables are coated with the flour. I added a splash of dry white wine and just gave that a nice stir. And then I, I've added some homemade chicken stock. Now, I didn't add much salt to this chicken stock. I did that purposely. If you're going to use store-bought chicken stock, you may want to use the low sodium kind or the sodium free kind. That way you can control how much salt you're putting into your dish. So I've added the chicken to the curry and the vegetable mixture and then at the end for a little creaminess I've added a splash of heavy cream. Now I give this a good stir and I'm going to let this simmer for about five minutes uncovered on medium heat. So I will spoon the mixture into these cute little pie-shaped ramekins that I have. 
I have four of them and this recipe makes enough for four little pot pies. So on to our pie dough. So I have here some puff pastry dough that I made earlier in the week and I froze. Now you can use puff pastry dough if you want. If you don't want to use puff pa pastry dough, you don't have to. Um, if you do want to, you can purchase it from the grocery store. You don't have to make it. Um, it's in the freezer section of the grocery store. You can also just use regular pie crust or pie crust dough, whatever suits you, whatever you want. I just thought puff pastry was a nice touch to this pot pie. So I just roughly cut the puff pastry into a circle. It does not have to be perfect. Then I just cut a few slits into the dough and put the dough on some wax paper and put it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. I'm making here just an egg wash with one egg and some water. Now I'm going to take the dough and place it over the filling and shape it around the dish. Mold it around the little pie dish. Just kind of have to work with it. And I did this for all four pies. And now I'm taking that egg wash and I'm generously brushing it onto the pie crust. This is going to help it come out nice and brown and shiny like this. So I baked this at 425 degrees for 35 minutes until it was nice and bubbly and crusty and brown like this. Now you definitely want to let this cool off before you dig into it. You can eat it right out of the pie dish, but I did want to plate it just to show you how pretty it is when you plate it up. And there you have it curry chicken pot pie. Now I certainly enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos and connect with me on other social media. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm wishing you joy and lots and lots of food love.